Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to what is another ridiculous Unlist Elite video because today we are opening up 10 Hidden Fates tins right here because literally everyone was like, Ando, we know Shining Fates is all well and good, but you can't forget about Hidden Fates. That's the superior holiday set, that's our favorite. We want to see another opening. So today, I'm not only opening up 10 of the brand new, I think it's like the fourth print run of Hidden Fates, we're going to be wearing a heart rate monitor, so if I pull the Charizard, you'll witness my live heart attack. And I know what you're thinking, you're like, Ando, why are you wearing your weird Christmas sweater again? Well, little Timmy, you know it's my lucky charm, you know it always gets us the polls, so fingers crossed, it's going to get us the polls today. But ironically, it's the same color as today's sponsor. Now guys, I seriously can't believe that StockX are actually sponsoring today's video. I've always bought from them, whether it be like sneakers, clothing or whatever. So the fact that like they're sponsoring an Unlist Elite video is the coolest thing in the world. But basically, I always purchased, as I said, sneaker and clothing and all those sorts of items off them. But now they sell Pokemon cards and they're making sure that they're the cheapest way that you guys can get Pokemon cards no matter what. Like they hate price gouging and they're really doing like an amazing effort to uh, prevent it. So like for example, you could look on Google and see all these prices, see how like expensive they are, and then when you look on their website, it's so much more cheaper. Now I know what you're thinking, Ando, how exactly does that work? Why are StockX always so much cheaper? Well basically the sellers that sell on StockX, they have to like, it's like a stock market. They sort of got to compete for the cheapest price to list it at, and then you guys can just go and buy it. And before it gets sent to you, StockX actually goes in and they'll put a sticker on your product to make sure it's 100% verified that it's real and that it's like not been tampered with, opened up, or the seal of approval's broken off. And if you're looking for something to buy over there, they have the pre-orders for the brand new EV Hero set, which is really, really cool. So I'll leave the link in the description. Alrighty guys, as you can see right now, the copy's kicked in. We're on 108 beats per minute. It's in the fat burning zone. So and this is Ando's workout for the week. I feel like I don't need a gym membership. I just need to keep buying weird, expensive Pokemon cards and hoping that I get crazy Pokemon. Oh, so, let's crack open the very first Hidden Fates booster right now. And if the Charizard's on this one, Uncle Ando would literally jump out that window, start rowing my rowboat to New Zealand. I promise. That'll be the follow-up of the rest of this. And I will give the rest away as soon as we hit Charizard, because I really don't think we'll get another one. So, it could be a big old win on the first booster right here. Sabrina's suggestion, I've only ever pulled one shiny full art. Charizard, and that was out of the Hidden Fates tins, like, ages ago. So, it would be pretty fitting if I can get uh, another one out of these tins. We've got an Ekans Reverse and an Eevee as the Holo card. It's not too bad. It's almost like the saturation's turned up on the newer print of the uh, Hidden Fates run. I'll take an Eevee Holo card, though. That's not the end of the world. Let's crack open another Charizard. A few of my friends have been pulling really good stuff from these, like, newer tins because... I don't know why, I feel like the middle ones where they tried to get more Hidden Fates product out, there wasn't as much stuff going around and they sort of lowered the pull rates. But I don't know, with this newer set, people have been getting full arts, rainbow rares, absolute whizbang deluxes. <gasps> this is exactly what I'm talking about, 98 beats per minute, oh my gosh, this is good news guys. Mount Cornet Gold Card Full Art on the second pack in, 100 beats per minute. Holy Aunt Jemima in West Virginia. As I was talking about it, I'm telling you, it's something about these newer ones. I knew I had to get it, and when StockX is like, dude, can we sponsor a video? I'm like, absolutely. It's got to be a Hidden Fates opening right now. These guys, oh, dude, this is awesome. I can't believe that we actually pulled a gold card on the second uh, booster pack in. That is pretty crazy. And hopefully, and a fantastic sign as to what's to come. I don't know, like, where these tins were grabbed from. Like, were they the same sort of box or case that they got delivered from the Pokemon factory? Or were they random tins grabbed all sorts of different cases where there's multiple chances of us getting stuff for that's, like, absolutely ridiculous? I don't know. I've just got such a good feeling, guys. And if today could possibly be the day of a Charizard, holy smokes, you're not even ready. So we got a Fairy type. Pogus Trap. I literally, I forgot how much fun Hidden Fates is as well. If you guys want even more Hidden Fates after this, just- OH MY- ARE YOU SERIOUS?! ARE YOU kidding? NO WAY! NO WAY! I- I just- I swear, I am absolutely done right now. A Cynthia! Full art card! On the third pack! 
200, I mean, uh, sorry, 102 beats per minute. Oh my goodness. What's behind it? Is it a, it's a double hitter. Oh my goodness. Stommy GX right there. And that would have been a fantastic booster out of a regular pin collection or something. But hold on, because look at this. We got Cynthia full art. And I don't know if it's still the case, but at one stage, it was the second most expensive card in the entire set. Right behind Charizard. It was like 120 bucks at one stage, I swear. I don't know what the price is right now. I'll put it on screen. But this is mind-blowing. I really don't think my heart rate's ever going to get below 100 beats per minute this episode. When I start to calm down, I get a crazy pull. Bro, we pulled a gold card and then Cynthia. This doesn't happen. What's the next one? Okay, this is... The guys, guys, I just I just want you to know as well, this is the fourth booster. See... You, and you understand what that means. There are only four packs per tin, meaning this was the first tin. I'm not making that. This right here was the first tin. I don't even know if it's the uh, fact that we're in the heart rate monitor, but I think it's because of the lucky Christmas sweater. Like, I've been telling you guys, Jolteon regular rare. That's okay. I really didn't expect anything at all in that pack. But I told you guys, the lucky Christmas sweater, it's come through with the goods before. As ugly as it is, and I know little Timmy just hates me wearing it. Ando's got no fashion sense. I think it's the coolest sweater in the world. So I'm going to keep wearing it. And especially if it's coming through and providing ridiculous balls like this. Unlisted leaf energy shows up. You know it's going to be a good day. The fact we have 40 of these boosters as well. I've got a renewed confidence in getting something crazy. Coughing. Clefairy. Reverse? Oh my gosh! It's another full art card! This time, Hidden Fates is not holding back. Giovanni's Exile, completely hand-drawn, full art Bangarooski right there. Very, very popular card when the set came out. I think it did have a bit of a price dip. 109 beats per minute. It's on 110. 111! I'm freaking out. Okay. But yeah, this was a fantastic, gorgeous looking card. Um, and very popular when it came out, but I think it did have a really crazy price tip for some reason. But guys, at the end of the day, a full art card is a full art card, and I'm beyond psyched that I managed to get another one. Bro. I can't believe you guys weren't telling me even more. I understand why you want me to open up Hidden Fates so bad. Shining Face is like... I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't look that great compared to this set. I mean, it's a great set because you can get that shiny Charizard VMAX and a couple of other Bangarooskis, but guys, this was the OG shiny set. Look at that, Voltorb. They really did him nasty and cut his forehead off in the picture, but that's okay. Shiny Voltorb, absolutely gorgeous looking expression. Look at that blue. That blue is awesome. Two red lines right there. He'd be a great ball, but that's all good. And then Bill's analysis. It's the original Shining Fates. I got the texture right there. 102 beats per minute. I told you. My heart rate's not getting below 100. Voltorb Shiny. The recap's already going off because of the amount of promo cards that came with all the tins. But let alone everything we're pulling on top of that. It's just ridiculous. I can't believe this is happening. Misty, Paris, I'm really going to try and like find myself again. My brain is in 6,000 different parts after all that. Brock's training, and a Mr. Mime. Alright, well, I feel like we're getting back to normality. And let's open up the next booster. I've got no idea where we are in terms of how many tins we've opened. I'm just going to keep going through all these packs and see what we can't get. We've got a Unlisted Leaf as well. We've got a Farfetch'd. Got a Gym. Exile. Staryu. Ekans with that Articuno sort of cameo. Pikachu. Clefairy. Pikachu Reverse. And a Kangaskhan as the regular rare. Okay, this is the Hidden Fates I remember. This is the harsh reality where it was super hard to get anything at all. But let's keep going. Okay, so we got a Fighting, then we get a Scyther, got a Brock Grit. How many of you guys in the comment section have managed to get a reprint of Hidden Fates? I feel like they've done a really good job in printing more stock. And I'd be curious if you managed to track down anything. Reverse Energy and a Holo Zapdos. Pretty good. And let me know, if you managed to get it, what sort of print run did you get? Did you get good pulls or not? Maybe if you got a different product that wasn't a uh, tin, you might have got better or worse. I'd be curious to know because they did re-release the uh, Elite Trainer Boxes. And they're some of my favorite Elite Trainer Boxes ever. 
So if you got good pulls out of that, let me know as well. But just don't tell me you get a Charizard, otherwise I'll cry myself to sleep if I didn't get one. Jigglypuff, dude, what is it? Oh my gosh, it's another evolution! This is ridiculous! This is ridiculous! Seriously! What is it? 94 beats per minute. I was calming down, guys. I was calming down. Sylveon, full art, shiny card. There is no way. <laughs> Today is real. If you haven't thumbs up the episode, please do me a favor and thumbs it up because I just need all the support in the world so we can keep doing Hidden Fates openings. Bro, Magical Ribbon, Fairy Wind, and Plea GX. This is unbelievable. A Eeveelution's shiny full art card. Yum, I'm gonna send it myself again because this is ridiculous. I can't believe the pulls we're getting. Sylveon. I can't remember, there's like... There's a couple of evolutions that are up there as like the rarest ones you can get. Um, Umbreon's definitely one of the most expensive ones to get. I can't remember where Sylveon sits though. There's like two evolutions that aren't as popular as the rest of them for some reason, but in my books I sort of just love them all. So, Sylveon's still a banger. And it looks so cute. In the shiny form, that pink getting replaced with blue. It's awesome. Okay, Clefairy. Got the Butterfree. And then a nice Hollow Vaporeon. Speaking of the evolutions. They're coming out the woodwork right there. We're also flying through these packs. I mean, for a holiday set, the fact we get to do this is ridiculous. There's those codes. I'm going to give every single one away. All 40 of them are on the house. Santa Ando's here. He's wearing this Christmas sweater. Might as well be giving him away. We've got the Pokemon Center lady. Metapod. Magic up. Then we've got a Clefairy. Coughing. Can we do something else? Star you reverse and a Snorlax. Once I get to the bottom of this pile, I'm going to clean all of these cards up because it's getting pretty crazy in here. It's a bit of a free-for-all. There you guys go. And let's keep the party going, guys. This has been ridiculous, and we have two massive piles either side of the Pokemon card section right here to go. Slowpoke, Pikachu, got a Charmander, Voltorb, got a Coughing, Voltorb again, and a Charizard. People love this card. Guys, I was doing well. I got into the 80s and then I pulled Charizard. Oh, well. What is it? 92 beats per minute. That's okay. Charizard is awesome. Can't believe this luck right now. And hopefully, this is a sign of what's to come. Oh, baby. I feel it. I feel something's coming up. So let's put Charizard GX at the back. Love the shine. But guys, it's not over yet. We haven't even finished the middle section. Man, hopefully you made yourself a snack or something, like got a big bowl of popcorn for this video. I sort of gave up in trying to be relaxed, I thought this morning. I'm like, you know what? I was going to do this video and try to stay as cool, calm, collect as possible, but I knew Hidden Fates is so hard to do. Oh! While we're like just trying to be collected and wear a heart rate monitor, because this set just have hit after hit after hit, just like this. Brokey, completely hand-drawn and shiny. Look at the shine. Like, these sparkles are directly out of Pokemon Go. Okay, so we got Froakie hand-drawn shiny and an Erika's hospitality. Put that one to the side. This recap is just going to be ridiculous. It's getting too heavy for the back. She wears Pikachu. you got to hold it up. you got to do one for the boys right now. Three boosters remaining on the middle section. Okay, get the door off there. Swing it around. Every single code card is a white and green, which just has me freaking out. Okay, so we got Darkness, Giovanni, come on! I feel it! I literally, if there's been one moment in my whole career, I feel like we're gonna get the Charizard, it's today. Eevee, Reverse Lapras. Are we on? Yep, two more to go. Second to last one for this pile. That's okay, that's okay. Plenty to go. And as I mentioned, as soon as we find Charizard, we're giving the rest away. Got a Metal type. Metapod, Sabrina's Suggestion, Charmeleon, Coughing, come on, Voltorb, Geodude, Eevee. They love the reverse energies. I've noticed a lot more of those that I didn't used to get. Like, reverse energies never used to be a thing. And seems like in this reprint, definitely more prominent. Go for... Okay, you ready? R.I.P. Fairy type energy. Everyone, rest in peace. Okay, let's keep going, though. Surge, come on, Surge. Misty, got the Pokemon Center lady. Geodude, Slowpoke, Jigglypuff. 
Oh, it's a shiny. This time it's Malamar. We little did we know Malamar would continue to be like in every Pokemon card ever. But a shiny is a shiny, and especially when it's hidden fates. And we're on 106 beats per minute. What a fitting way to finish this off. Okay, put that one to the back for the recap. Malamar shiny, ending it with a Butterfree regular rare. Let's tidy the set up. Let's get into it, guys. Let's do the second pile right here. Let's swing uh, a couple of these around. I think that some of them are backwards. So let's swing you guys around and let's start opening this section right here. Are you guys still feeling it? So this is like part number two and then we got part number three. Divided into a couple of sections, we're opening a little over a booster box worth of Hidden Fates, which is a very, very hard thing to kind of like source and find today. So I'm so lucky I get to do it. And I'm so excited. Like this morning, I was skipping out of bed. I'm like, oh, today's the day. I get to open Hidden Fates again. And guys, the pulls are so much better than a regular booster box. Come on. I told you, with pulls like this, shiny full art drama, we've got to have a Charizard around the corner. Drumper GX, and then Pinsa GX as well. Wow, look at this. Super powered horns. Guillotine. That is some of the most brutal attacks ever. Okay, Pinsa GX, you're gonna go at the back for that recap at the end. And Drumper, full art, shiny GX. I have been told to watch out. Some of these cards are miscut because they were flying out the printer. Not the end of the world. I actually think this is pretty good. Drumper GX looks okay. Man, when Drampa first got announced, guys, I thought it would be my new favorite Pokemon. I don't know. I think he still is a very cool Pokemon. I actually just found him last night in Pokemon Snap. I was playing through and I saw him, like, floating by. What a cool dude. He just floats everywhere, guys. Okay, so we're gonna gym. I could talk about Drampa all day, I feel like. And then Shiny Drampa is a weird, like, it's a light-colored chocolate mousse. Jigglypuff, Eevee, Zapdos Reverse, and a Blaine's Last Stand. It's a Charizard pack right now. Open you up. There is an aeroplane taking off over my house. Why? Are you trying to spy on the poles right now? Wait till I upload it to YouTube and then everyone can view it. Don't know why the aeroplane has to come and like, I don't know, have a little sneak peek of what I'm trying to pull here. Pikachu. <laughs> Voltorb. I've lost my marbles. Cubone. Gosh. Do you, I don't know. I don't know about you, but have you, I've just got this feeling and I just know it. It's got to be coming up. 93. Okay, we're below 100 beats per minute, and let's try and keep it there. I really just don't want you guys to see me getting to like 160 or something stupid when I get that Charizard. I don't know. I don't know what my heart rate will get up to if I started like on my run to the back to jump into Pikachu. It's always like pretty crazy, but I think the peak heart rate would probably be revealing the Charizard. I think like when you get here and you can tell it's there, that's when the freak out happens. What do you guys think? What's the craziest part? Or like, when do you think your heart rate is the highest when you're pulling a Pokemon card pull? For me, I reckon it's there. I reckon it's when you're lifting the card up and your heart just sinks. It drops. You feel it physically go to your pants. Because you're like, oh, that's it. That's the bottom of the Charizard. And then you continue to reveal it. And then it's almost like relief. You're like, wow, I've done. I literally don't ever have to open this up again if I don't want to. Because I've got the card I'm hunting for. But I'd be curious, like, that's such a good common question of the day. What do you think is the peak, I don't know, terrifiedness or heart rate part of you opening up Pokemon cards? It's definitely this part right here for me. Why is he almost pink? Like, the saturation got turned up way too high in Golem right there. And we got an Arbok. Guys, why is this pile going down so quickly? Was it a bit of a dud second pile and we literally just got all the good pulls in the middle? Or maybe it's building up to something. It's like, Ando, you're about to get a very, very expensive card. So we can't afford to actually give you too much else. Misty's Gym. Got the Magma. Charmeleon. Can that be hinting towards something? Pikachu. Oh, boys. It's a shiny. But what shiny is it? It's a Gibble. And look how hand... You know what? Shining Face, I think the difference is... Hidden Face is a lot more hand-drawn, beautiful, regular shiny pulls. So, like, when you get like this, you're like, Wow! That's a really decent shiny that's very, very unique. Shining Fates was like, okay, let's get these shinings out. Let's sort of make them computer-generated artwork. But maybe that's controversial to say. I don't know. That's pretty good. Getting a double hitter as well. I just got a feeling something good's around the corner. What do you guys... Like, you've had a bit of time now. Hidden Fates? Shining Fates? Maybe little Timmy's a little different. Maybe little Timmy's like, you know what? 
My favorite holiday set's Champion's Path. <laughs> Let me know, because Champion's Path did get a bit overlooked. I feel like it was the... It was the set that came out, but everyone didn't want to buy because they were saving up for Shining Fades. And may maybe people still had a big attachment to Hidden Fades when they came out as well. EV double up right there, and an Electrode. That was pretty good. Got the regular EV, and then we got the reverse. Looks like we got three boosters after this one. And then we are on the final pile. There it guys, there has to be something coming up. We've had too many hints. I've been seeing Charmanders, Charmeleons, look at that. And fire types everywhere. Magic up. Come on! Oh, the birds! This is classic. I bet we get a rainbow rare birds before we end the video today. Trinity burn! Trinity burn attack's pretty cool. It uses all the energies from the different birds, like fire, lightning, water. This one to the side. As I said, we're very close to ending the second pile right now. I reckon we should have one, maybe one more full up, but we have been getting a lot of good luck. Like, it's been ridiculous the amount of pulls we've been snacking uh, quite recently. Got the Ekans, Cubone, and then the Nick Zerkatry Shiny! These cards are quite shiny. I can see the texture of the card. Okay, Exerkatry Shiny and a Kangaskhan. 98 beats. Come on, I feel like I'm pretty mellow right now. Is my resting heart rate like 100 beats per minute or something crazy? I don't know, maybe a normal person should do this. It would be... My friends who are like athletes, they have resting heart rates like 50. It's insane. 50 beats per minute. And here I am. I feel like I'm just always energized. 100 beats per minute! Meow! Okay, Cubone, EV. Ah, oh, Kangaskhan, second to last pack. This is literally the second to last pack. It's gotta be on one of these though. Come on, come on, come on. If not, we have one more big giant pillar to go. We got Lightning, Farfetch'd, Jinx, Misty, Voltorb, Cubone, Geodude, EV. Oh, that's pretty good. I completely forgot Jesse and James had a full art card. Wobbuffet, Meowth. This is gorgeous. Full art, Jesse and James. Hopefully it went up in price, because this is actually a gorgeous artwork. They're OG characters of the anime. It's got a nice, like, green background. Yeah, I'm going to be uh, very interested to watch this video back after editing. Okay, Jesse and James full art. That was probably our last full art, I reckon, of the pile. But I'm definitely going to take that, because I really enjoy it. Okay, last booster of the second pile right here, Scyther. We're going to Jinx, Graveler, Magic Up. What do you reckon? Clefairy, going to star you, Graveler again, and a Snorlax as the regular rare. Let's clean the set up, open these last lot of boosters. Yeah, Marcus, if you're upstairs, I really need you to bless these pools right now. Look at this shiny Mewtwo. This has got to come through with the goods. So let's get it. Oh gosh, the final pile. But this right here, I think no matter what we get, it's been a ridiculously fun video. And as I mentioned, all thanks to StockX for sponsoring, and we've got so many more epic projects coming up. So all I'm going to say is stay tuned for those bad boys. It's going to be an epic, uh, I think, couple of weeks for these bad boys. But if you that's all I think I'm allowed to say. And look at that, as we mentioned! Oh my goodness! As we mentioned, the green branded sponsor StockX, we're going for the green shiny Pokemon Mewtwo GX! Oh fuck! What are the chances? This is epic! And then we get a double hitter. It's a hollow EV on top of that. Look at that though! Psy Strike, Super Absorption, and Full Burst. Dude! Mewtwo, again! They all had points where they were fighting for the second most expensive card. Mewtwo was definitely up there as well. I reckon this was like a $70 card. Maybe it's still there, maybe it's higher, lower. This is awesome though. Mewtwo GX Shiny. Bro, I reckon that's my fa- Oh, I don't know, that Sylveon looked gorgeous. And we got a gold card. I reckon it's either Mewtwo or Sylveon so far. But tell me, tell me right. We don't just get pulls like that and you think, no Charizard. I think pulls like that equal definitely something coming up. And especially with a bit of a dry streak that we had last time. Oh, guys. You can't have the dry streak that we literally just did and not get something McSpicy. And maybe it was the Mewtwo, but I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to say that glass of Starbucks filled milk is going to be half full. Golem and Erica. Okay. Shiny Charizard pack. And last time that I pulled Shining Charizard, I'm pretty sure I got it out of the Shining Charizard pack. So I'm just going to hope 
it's going to be the same right now. Farfetch'd, got a Graveler, Charmander, Voltorb. Come on, what do you reckon? Come on! Oh, Reverse Sabrina and Bill's Analysis. 104. I'm freaking out. 102 beats per minute. Okay. <sighs> calm down, calm down. Let's get it below. 100. Can we do it? Nah, it's going up. I think I can just get more stress trying to relax. Oh, there was a bit of shine there. I don't know if that was full light shine or GX shine. There is a difference. You can see the texture or you can see a glossy finish. EV, what do you reckon? Pikachu? <gasps> okay, there we go. We got a shiny shopper and there we that's what we're shining. The Gyarados GX glossy finish. Look at that though. Shop it shiny card. A lot of sh words in that one. That's awesome. There's a lot of texture on there. Look at that blue. It's like a magenta. It's weird. Really epic shining Pokemon choice. I love the hand drawn aspect of these cards. Let's put both of those at the back. We are so close to the ending right here. The recap is more thick than the fourth Harry Potter book. I kid you not. I've seen tomatoes at the grocery store that are not as thick as that. The recap's gonna go off. Okay, we're gonna need Darkness, Metapod, Sabrina, Eevee, Pikachu, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Pikachu, Jesse and James as the Hollow. I love you guys, but not today. We're hunting for something in particular. We are about to be on the final team, guys. <laughs> we really powered through this. Four from the back. Fire type. This is it. Come on. Kogus Trap. Lieutenant Surge. Misty. Pikachu. Voltorb. Or an Umbreon Shiny. That would be pretty sick. Okay. And is that the final four? That's the final... Oh my gosh. What happened to this pack? Oh, gee. Someone sat on it. It literally looks like a chocolate after I've sat on it. I don't know if you guys do that, but... The other day, I sat in a chocolate in my car and it was the saddest moment of my life. And that's kind of what the wrapper looked like. The Kit Kat was never the same. All right. We got a fairy type. Koga's Trap. Brock's Grit. This is for the final one until the final tin. Oh, it's an Onyx GX. I thought it was a Charizard. I saw this. But no, I'll take an Onyx for sure. We haven't got that one yet. What the heck? The variety of pulls? I am so happy with that. Final four go, guys. Two, looks like a two Mew, and then maybe we got a Mewtwo and a Charizard as the final pack. Oh, boys. Okay, let's go, let's go. Four from the back. We got Fairy type right here, Misty's Gym, Pokemon Center Lady, Ekans, Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu. I mean, I'm going to take a Pikachu reverse and then a Mewtwo GX. Sitting on 103 beats per minute. Mewtwo, you're gorgeous, man. You're going to come through with the pulls when it's your uh, pack art turn in a second. Third to last booster pack. Enjoy that code card. Swing it around. We got Fighting Type, Sabrina Suggestion, Misty, Metapod, Pikachu, Coughing, Harris. Oh, Bob Reverse, and I knew it! Did I not tell you guys? Did I not call that one? Holy smokes! We got a Rainbow Rare Birds right there, Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno, all the main birds right there. Check that out, absolutely gorgeous card. I still love this, I couldn't care less if no one likes it. You just gotta have it. Rainbow Red Birds to go with your stained glass window birds you got in the ETB, to go with the Full Art and the GX. It's a staple. It's a rainbow rare at the end of the day you can't be mad at. I'm in the fat burning zone, guys. <laughs> I'm literally losing weight pulling these cards. But that is a really good one for the third to last booster. So let's go to the second to last pack right now. That right there wasn't a part of Shining Vault, so it doesn't actually worry me in terms of cancelling out a ratio to pull Charizard. Let's keep going. I wouldn't mind a Charmander. A shiny Charmander goes for a bit of a fortune. Loki as well, Voltorb, coughing. Dude. What do you reckon? Ladies and gentlemen. It's all down to the final one. Let's do it. We've opened 40 packs. We've opened 10 Hidden Fates tins. And this is it. The remaining boosty. What's gonna be? It's a Charizard artwork. And look at that, look at that, look at the first Pokemon. Come on, that's gonna mean something. Please tell me you're getting something gorgeous out of those code cards. Four from the back. <sighs> okay. Darkness. Jim. Surge. Pokemon Center Lady. Charmander. Psyduck. 
Magikarp, Star U. And it's a reverse energy and regular rare Jolteon. You know what, guys? I will definitely take that pack opening. Hidden Fates is just a ridiculously fun set to open, and I just feel so fortunate I got to open it, and the pulls we got, ridiculous. Now, guys, I want you to get out the, the comfiest pajamas. We've got a crazy recap inbound. Alrighty guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video as much as I did. Look at this light, look at that. That is absolutely ridiculous. So, on the recap right now, check this out. The amount of holos, actually not too crazy. I think that's a really good part about Hidden Fates is over getting a holo, you're probably gonna get something even better when you open up a tin. We've got the Eevee, the Jesse and James's, the Zapdos, Vaporeon. Then check this out. We start with the absolute catapult run of GX Guards. We've got Raichus, Charizards, Out the Wazoo, then we've got Gyaradoses as well. These are all those promos at the, at the front of the tins, but then including that, we also pull genuine GXs out of the boosters, like regular Charizard, Pinsir, we've got the Birds, Gyarados again, Onyx, Mewtwo on top of that, and then the Shiny cards. So, we've got Shiny Voltorb right there, looks like a great ball. Hand-drawn Froakie, Malamar, Gibble as well, looking really hand-drawn, Exerkatry in an absolute gorgeous looking blue, I absolutely love that Pokemon in shiny form, we got Shopper with a light sort of, yeah, I don't know, it's like ocean blue, it's pretty cool, then we got a full of Jesse and James card, all the cameos on that one, Giovanni's XL, their boss right behind them, Rainbow Rare, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno, then we got that gorgeous looking Cynthia card, all the cameos, Man, I can't believe we got that one as well. Golden Mount Cornet card. This is ridiculous, and the fact it was so early on, I still can't believe it. So a gold trainer, and then we get onto the Shining Full Arts. Sylpheon GX Shiny card. I'm not making this up. Drumper GX Full Art as well. And guys, a Mewtwo GX Full Art Shining card. Let me know in the comments, do we do another Hidden Fates opening video? I would love to do it. Search for the Shiny Charizard, it's back on, part number two. That would be so much fun. Thumbs up the video, click subscribe. Thank you again to StockX for sponsoring today's video. We got so many more fun projects working with them coming up around the corner. But most of all, guys, we're gonna keep on gaming. All right, guys, next Pokemon card opening. Let it have as much luck as this one, and keep on gaming. <laughs>